Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, I want to invite you specially because today is the last day of the month of February and tomorrow is going to be the 1st of March. I want to invite you because this is very, very important. And beginning from tonight, 12 midnight, throughout tomorrow, actually until 9 p.m. tomorrow, we are going to be fasting and praying. Now listen, there's a whole lot going on in the world and many times when things like this happen, God's children don't know what to do. Sometimes God's children allow themselves to be distracted by the happenings. But truly, the happenings are supposed to be indications or signposts to where we are or where we are going. Now, do you remember Jesus said, or Jesus taught on prayer in, in Luke 18? He says, Jesus spake a parable in this wise, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Meaning, if you don't pray, you will faint. What does it mean to faint? It means to give up. It means to lose heart. It means to compromise. That is what fainting is. So we're going to be praying from tonight and we're going to be praying at every watch. Now we've been doing this for a while now, but this month of March is very peculiar. That's why I'm taking this whole broadcast to talk about it and to prepare your heart concerning it the spirit of god is normally the spirit of god gives us things to pray about words to pray about so we pray every watch beginning from 12 midnight tonight and then we pray also at 3 a.m and then 6 a.m and then 9 a.m 12 noon 3 p.m and 6 p.m and then the last watch is 9 p.m that's the watch to end the day and we're going to be fasting until when we're done with the last prayer meeting. I'm trusting the Spirit of God to guide us on things to pray about, especially how to get God's children to be prepared for the season ahead. Hear me? The Spirit of God had told me that the month of March is a month of position. He's going to be positional. There's lots of things God have told us concerning this year. You remember last month the Lord was dealing with family issues. Now, this month the Lord is saying, I'm going to be positioning my children. And that's why the Lord spoke to me yesterday. He said, hey son, listen, don't get distracted by the happenings. One of the ways we get distracted, for example, we know what's happening between Ukraine and Russia right now. So one of the things that can get us distracted is that, oh, we've got to pray and stop this war. We've got to pray and stop all the, you know. Now, it's good to be concerned. It's good to be concerned. But then most especially, it is good to submit yourself to exactly what the Lord is saying to you and act otherwise. These things are signposts telling us where we are. Now, don't be too concerned about the signpost and forget what you are supposed to do or what you are supposed to have. You don't walk into a city, you don't drive into a city and then you see the signboard welcoming you to the city. And then you just stay there and rejoicing and say, whoa, oh, see, 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 can you imagine? No, you, you see that and say, oh, we're on the right track. So we go in and do what we are supposed to do. Now our heart is, 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 it's, it's out towards everyone in Ukraine right now. And we're, we're praying that the Spirit of God will guide your steps. The Spirit of God will protect you. He will do everything to keep you safe. Now, God does that. He doesn't abandon people. But hear me. Wherever you're hearing the sound of my voice, I want you to plan for tonight's prayer meeting and throughout tomorrow. And, and the, the Zoom, um, the Zoom, IDs on your screen to join us. It's open to everyone, but the meeting is going to be via Zoom. And that's what the Spirit of God have told us. It's going to be via Zoom. So the, 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 the details are on your screen right now. You can join us and plan. I know Tuesday is a working day, but listen, you can plan. Just 
make, make that plan to join us in this meeting. I don't want you to lose out from what the Spirit of God is doing. I don't want you to lose out from what the Spirit of, how the Spirit of God wants to reposition you. He's repositioning you for something great. I don't want you to lose that. So plan for this. Invite someone you know. Invite everybody you need to be in this prayer meeting. And, and we're going to be having a great time, especially because the Spirit of God is going to be telling us what to do and what to pray. At different watch, we're going to be having different prayer sessions with different prayer topics as the Spirit of God will instruct. Now, like I said, we've been doing this for a while and testimonies have been coming in. But this time around, I sense strongly, I sense strongly that the Spirit of God wants to do something not just in our lives, but also in the nations of the earth. And when God's children gather together and begin to pray according to his will, John told us that he hears us. And if we know that he has heard us, we know that we have our petitions granted. How much more? So, because sometimes people say, How do I know the will of God? This is this is as simple as it is. When the Holy Spirit tells you, pray like this, you can start thinking, is that the will of God or not? Because the Holy Spirit will never tell you to pray outside of the will of God. This year is a very special year in God's calendar. It's very special. Now that's why we keep watch every month. It's a way to keep ourselves abreast with what God is doing. For example, we all know we're in the end times. But why do we keep concerning ourselves with the signs of the end time and forget that we, God's children, are supposed to be presenting ourselves before the Lord so that he will fulfill his word in us. There are things spoken about God's children concerning the end time. Those are the things we should be focused about, not the signs of the end time. Hear me. When we say end time, we are talking about eventually when Jesus is going to come and then the whole kingdom of this world is going to become the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we, we can get so concerned about all the signs of the end time and forget that we are supposed to be receiving authority from our Father to determine what happens on the earth. We can be so concerned about the end times and then we forget, for example, when you read Revelation chapter 6, it gives you, you know, when the, when the seals were open, it begins to tell you one after the other the things that will happen. You read about scarcity, you read about people killing one another, that is war. Now you read those things, what comes to your mind? Is it fear or is it faith in God's power to save? The fact that the Bible said there will be wars and rumors of war doesn't mean you will die in that war. The fact that the Bible said there will be scarcity doesn't mean you will be in that scarcity. Because there are many things God has spoken concerning his children that you are supposed to hold on to. Seasons like this, I'll tell you the truth, is for our light to shine like never before. But for your light to shine, you've got to be convinced of your light. And when you are convinced of that light, trust in the Spirit of God with His anointing upon your light and with His anointing from within you, it's time to shine. But to shine properly, you've got to be positioned right. That's what the Spirit of God is saying concerning the month of March. Positioning. Positioning. Not by yourself. Not you waking up and saying, I think I want to be positioned this way. No, 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 no. Prophecies are always self-fulfilling. If the Lord says positioning, you just know and wait and see what the Lord is going to do. Because when He is doing it, you just realize time and chances happening and then before you know what's going on you you realize you're being moved to this certain area and then you wonder why are things happening then you remember god says he is doing a certain kind of positioning now when god is doing positioning guess what some people will be repositioned you understand that some will be repositioned so i want you to join us tonight beginning from 12 midnight today now you know 12 midnight is what breaks into 
first of March. Join us and let's just trust the Lord. Open your heart and let the Spirit of God fill it with himself and with his truth. I'm telling you this, you will never remain the same. God is doing a work on the earth and you are part of it. Praise God. Yes, you are part of it. So I'll tell you again, invite everyone you can invite to join this prayer meeting. And let's see and trust the Lord for great miracles and great instructions that we will obey in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is you that have led us throughout. And this year especially, Lord, you've spoken great things concerning your children this year. And Father, we are ready right now. And Lord, we are trusting you for an open heaven today. Even tonight, as we begin to look into the month of March, trusting you, Lord, for words of wisdom and direction. Thank you for you have gone ahead of us, so you said. And you have made the crooked path straight, and we believe you. I pray for everyone watching and, and, and listening right now. I pray, Lord, that your hand will rest upon them, especially in this season. That the spirit of grace to know what to do will rest upon everyone watching and listening right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. None, none will be bereaved of ideas. None will be short of your wisdom that is from above. Let that wisdom flow freely on the earth and fill your children. And let every one of your child arise knowing what to do, Lord. And especially we pray for those in Ukraine. And then we pray for those in Russia. Lord, we speak your peace in the heart of everyone that is in this situation. We speak peace into the heart of the Russian president. We speak peace into the heart of the Ukrainian president. One of your child who cries to your name in that region. We ask that your hand of protection will save them from every evil. In Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I pray that your children be healed right now. From every sickness, every disease, every hardship that they are in. Let there be a deliverance today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release that spirit of grace upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Join me tonight. I'll be expecting to see you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.